Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Roy here with Callie for another Children's Time. And today, I wanted to talk about mothers. You know, this weekend coming up is Mother's Day. And I wanted to celebrate all of our moms out there. Now, you may have a mom that lives with you at home, but there are so many women out there that are like mothers for us, whether they're teachers or coaches or art or dance instructors or you name it, just everybody all around. Well, they could be other family members too. And I just want to celebrate each and every one. So many are doing so many things for us, even right now in this time that we're living in. And I just want to celebrate all of them. And part of what I want to celebrate is their instruction. You know, there's a verse in the Bible in the book of Proverbs that talks about listening to your mother's instruction and how important that is. So really, she's trying to care for us just like God would and trying to do the best for us. So all those women that we celebrate, it's great. And I know that my wife, Gina, takes such good care of Callie and has taught her so many tricks that you've seen before and how to love and how to be respectful. Look how good she's being right now. So that's one thing that we celebrate. But look what I have here on the table. Right now, we're being told to wash our hands frequently. So you see the soap over there, the hand soap? We, I bet your mom tells you that when you come in from outside that you need to wash your hands or when you've gone out anywhere right now, that you need to wash your hands frequently. Well, we need to do that all the time in our life and just be clean and to know that we can touch things and maybe even put food in our mouth safely because we're clean. We want to be as clean as possible, and not just in our hands, but in our inside our bodies as well. Which leads me to our next thing, eating healthy. And I have this oatmeal box, because oatmeal is pretty good for you, right? And those things that are good for us. Mom is usually telling us to eat better, don't eat so many snacks. We have to finish our dinner and our lunch before we have any kind of dessert. Because she knows what's really good for our bodies as well. So good for hygiene, good for bodies. Uh, what about a clock? See this watch? This is like a clock. And I remember my mom having to wake me up to go to school and to tell me time to stop playing and do my homework, time to stop and clean up the room. And I needed to listen to her because she knew what was best for me and what time it was to do things. There's a time to work and a time to play. And so she really did a great job for me there. And really got me going on books. So you can see the different books here, Bible books and other books to read, to learn about different things, to read the stories of others, and to celebrate their journey through life. And so reading is so important and our moms want us to learn as much as possible. So moms care about all of us just like God does. Our mind, our hearts, our bodies, all of us. And so I wanna, again, celebrate all the moms out there. So kids, why don't you go give your moms a big hug today and tell them thank you for all that they're doing, all they've done and all they will do for us. And happy Mother's Day to all of our moms out there in whatever way you are a mom to anyone in the world. Thank you on behalf of all of us here at Centerport UMC. God bless. We thank you, God, for everyone. Bye-bye.